What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now since I started doing videos on my 100 series Land Cruiser, I get a lot of questions asking what size tire I'm using, how much lift and what brand I'm using, as well as if I need any spacers for the wheels. Instead of me answering every single question individually, I figure I'm just going to show you. So check this out. Let's start with the rear since it's a little bit more simple. First of all, let's take a look at my tire. This is a BF Goodrich KM3 Mud Terrain, size 315-75-16. As you can see, I am using a wheel spacer, and it's actually the same wheel spacer all around. This is a 1.25 inch thick wheel spacer. The bolt pattern is 5x150, and it's just a plain old spacer that I got off of Amazon. If you're interested, I will leave a link in the description down below. With the spacers installed, the tires are pretty flush with the body. Not too much poke, but just enough. As far as the spring and shock combo goes, they are both made by Old Man Emu, and they give the Land Cruiser about two and a half inches of lift. To cope with the extra weight from the rear bumper and the drawer system, I am using the 864 spring. As far as the rear shock goes, I'm actually using an 80 series rear shock. This gives me slightly more flex when I need it. Also, my sway bar is long gone. Because of these adjustments, my Land Cruiser gets slightly more flex than a regular 100 series. However, I have not had the need to extend the rear bump stop. The spring hasn't fallen out yet. Now inside the rear wheel well, you can see exactly where it rubs. Nothing unexpected and nothing too severe. Next, onto the front. As far as the front goes, I'm using the same Amazon spacer as the rear, the one and one quarter inch. The factory upper control arm has been changed out in favor of this SPC unit. This enables me to get an almost perfect alignment, even with the lift. The shocks and torsion bars are from Old Man Emu, and these are just the standard pieces off their two and a half inch lift kit. In the front, I still have the factory sway bar hooked up. Not too much flex in an independent front suspension. If you guys have any ideas how to get a little bit more, let me know in the comments down below. I haven't had a chance to install a diff drop kit in the Land Cruiser yet. So far, it's been okay, but I'm sure I'll need it in the future. And now for the fun part, the inner fenders. Now, as far as the front of the vehicle goes, I haven't had to make any adjustments to fit the almost 35s. Towards the back of the front wheel is a different story. So if we take a closer look, this is the back of the front wheel. It's the same on both sides. As you can see, I did have to grind down a little bit of this pinch weld right here or else it hits the tire. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I only had to grind down half an inch to clear the tires. Now, as far as this plastic piece goes right here, I did have to cut a slit right here, all the way down. And if you notice right here, it's actually catching a little bit. So I might have to trim this down a little bit more. Probably what I'll do is cut directly down here to this one bolt that holds it in and then down like that. Now this material is actually really thin. All I used to cut it was a pair of scissors. There it goes, I just used a pair of scissors to trim the inner fender plastic a little bit more and right now it should clear without problem. Besides those inner fender mods and the two and a half inch lift, everything else is still stock. You can see I still have the plastic panel up here and uh, it doesn't rub at all. On the bottom of the pinch weld, I guess this is uh, the bottom part of the fender, I did have to hammer it in slightly, as you can see, just to clear the tire. But nothing major, just uh, basically fold it in a little bit, um, nothing too severe. And that's how you can fit an almost 35 inch tire onto the 100 series Land Cruiser with minimal rubbing. Now for each of the mods that I went over in this video, I do have a separate video for each of those mods that go into detail as far as install goes. 
I'll leave a link to each separate video plus the parts that I used in the description down below so make sure you go ahead and check that out. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button and for more Land Cruiser and Overland content don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.